When the desire is upon you, that is the time to accept your wish in its fullness. The minute desire comes upon you, assume it is already a fact. Do not wait for anything to come to pass. Accept it now as though it were, and see what happens. Those are the words of Neville Goddard. My name is Mr. 2020. You are listening to the free Neville Goddard podcast. So yesterday, I listened to a podcast my friend Alessandra put out. And she was interviewing another friend of mine, Mark Dockery. Alessandra sings opera. And she runs a lovely course that I have not taken called the Find Your Voice Masterclass or something like that. You can find that at singwithalessandra.com or something like that. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll help you out. And Mark's taken the class. He's going to take the class again. And why am I telling you all this? What does this have to do with your dreams and your desires? You see, I came to Australia in 2010. First back in October, I returned in November. With the exception of a, of a short exit, because my visa ran out, I had to sort some legal issues out. I've been here for 13 years. And when I came here, I made a few vows. One, I would be, I would never get a job. People spend a lot of time in traffic in Australia. Petrol is expensive. And I'm not a fan of sitting in a car for a long period of time, no matter how nice the car. I love my Bimmer. I love Victoria's Bimmer. But I'm not going to even sit in a BMW for an hour each way. No way. Yeah, not to spend eight hours away from who I love. You see, I came here to be with her. I came here to sing and dance in the garden. I came here to bless people. And so I had a dream. My dream was to basically stop hiding. When I came here, I was working under the, I was an NLP guru, well respected in the field. They flew me around the world to, do, to work with a group of Forex traders and I fell in love. And I decided at some point to strip everything back to what I absolutely adore teaching, what I know is at the core of all that works. And that's how I teach the work of Neville Goddard, my experience of his work, and a little bit more. But Mark and Alessandra have both taken Dream Driven Day. They're both in Remarkable. They've both done ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. And they're both giving life to their dreams. Alessandra lived in Europe. I don't know exactly where. I don't know exactly why. But through one of the courses, she met someone named Grant. And they fell in love. And now they live in California together. They're adorable. Join one of the courses they're in and meet them. Or take her course and meet her. I'm sure Grant will show up. He just adores her. Mark, on the other hand, Mark's been with us for a long time, too. He's done Manifesting Mastery Course, Dream Driven Day, a Club. That's a, something else we offer once in a while. He's back in Remarkable again this year. And Mark's building a really cool hypnosis biz. He is someone who I know, love, and trust. And I get, he gets what really works. So, and, and I don't care what you call it, right? I know in his hypnosis program exactly you know, where he comes from and how he'll bless his clients. And so here's two people whose lives matter to me. Here's two people who have, who have realized their dreams matter. Because my dream wasn't just to stay home and make great money. My, my dream was to stay home, make great money, be with the woman I love, play with puppies. We didn't even have puppies back then, but we imagined them up. And to make a massive difference in the world. And if you listen to Alessandra's podcast, no idea how to get you there, email me, I'll send you a link. But you're going to hear two of my favorite people in the whole world exploring what exploring song and voice means to them. 
because you came here to sing your song. You came here to dance your dance. And a lot of people never get close to doing either. And whenever you take the time to actually sing your song and dance your dance like I have, you invite, you inspire, you, you, you help people do, sing their song and dance their dance too. You can't help it. If you live life like an inmate, you invite other people to just go hide in their little cells too. It's tempting to join little Me Too clubs. How you suffer, how you struggle. Push. On the other hand, we invite you to play. Think about it. My choosing to play, to play and share my weird way of life has invited those two to play and share their, their weird ways of life. And imagine who they bless. And the ripples continuing. You've got a choice today. You can sing your song, you can dance your dance. I invite you to explore with us how to do that. Because you've grown up in a world where they teach you to hide, stay safe, put up boundaries, stay protected, mitigate. Most people don't even know what the, that means, but they do it all day long. Hide. In the Bible, it says, do not put your light under your candle, your light, whatever it was, under a bushel basket. Don't let the magic of you get hidden by the rational <laughs> because you have rational and irrational arguments all day long that will keep you safe in other words enable you to survive another day instead of discovering the sunshine that you are because life either becomes all about survival or sunshine and I want you to shine forth if you got gold today I've got three suggestions for you number one manifestingmasterycourse.com it's a lot of fun <laughs> it'll change your life it takes about 10 minutes a day no excuses gang I'm not a fan of excuses at the end of the day at the end of your entire life you're either gonna have excellence or excuses you get to pick right now what you're gonna start putting in the bank Number two, you can join us at joinremarkable.com. Joinremarkable.com. That's a small group of people. Let's say about 40, 50 of us right now. I haven't done a count today. And if you start now, so you can be on the first group call in January, you also get the Remarkable Vault, which is $1,000 worth of goodies. You can find out all about that at joinremarkable.com. There's all kinds of bonuses there, but go there, read it. If you think, if you get, you know what? Playing with a group of people that are highly motivated, they've got skin in the game, experience, people like Mark, Alessandra, Grant. We've got a huge number of cool kids in this year. That's joinremarkable.com. Imagine up something lovely, because you don't got to do this all on your own. You don't got to figure it out. I listen to Mark's voice over the years. It's like listening to mine. It's evolved. It's changed because of working with her. I've done private lessons with her. I don't have the schedule to work on, the, on her group thing. But I've done privates. Well worth it. But anyway, let's imagine up something lovely as we go into the silence.
Neville Goddard says, when the desire is upon you, that is the time to accept your wish in its fullness. You have to accept it in its fullness. If you wait, or if you do not accept it in its fullness, that's when rational kills your magical. The minute desire comes upon you, assume it is already fact. Do not wait for anything to come to pass. Accept it now as though it were and see what happens. You get to decide how to live your life. You get to decide how to live your days. Join us. Dive deeper. Have a lovely day. See ya.